I'm in Geneva today to, to visit with the World Health Organization. They're an incredibly important organization that can speak to the public health impacts associated with air pollution, climate change, and some of the big challenges that the United States faces and frankly the world faces today. Oh, I met with a number of individuals that run their public health programs and environmental programs, but most importantly, I met with their executive board and they, they gave me some time to talk to them about the need for them to speak loudly and clearly on science and public health impacts associated with traditional environmental air pollutants as well as climate. The administrator of the EPA, Ms. Gina McCarthy, I give the floor to the United States. Thank you. Environmental concerns are public health concerns. In fact, public health threats from environmental pollutants now rival or exceed the burden of major infectious diseases globally. The U.S. hopes to continue to push success in protecting public health by partnering with WHO. Global health threats are blind to borders. This past year has proven that all too well. We depend on the WHO as a voice of sound science, as a global resource, and as a policy compass. So I would encourage you to continue to work forward to focus attention on air pollution and other environmental threats. Carbon pollution that fuels climate change comes packaged with smog and soot, increasing risk from asthma, strokes, heart attacks, and cancer. Climate change threatens public health and safety directly. We know that the climate is changing. We have droughts and floods and wildfires. We have direct public health impact and injury and safety problems as a result of a change in climate. And we need to adapt to that and develop resilient communities. But we also have to take mitigation measures because as the climate changes, the air gets warmer. We see allergens increasing. We see air pollution increasing. That is direct public impacts. That is loss of lives. That is impacts to our kids with asthma. That is impacts to the elderly. We cannot let that happen without taking some serious action to try to mitigate those problems and make sure that air pollution doesn't get worse. But the great news is we have technologies. We have fixes. We can move this challenge forward and turn some of these things into an economic opportunity for ingenuity in the United States and beyond so that we can have a future that we're proud of for our kids, that meets our moral responsibility, and that continues to grow really sound economies and job growth. And that's what we're here to talk about today. So I really had to thank WHO for speaking so clearly about the environmental impacts on public health. And we together can face the challenge of climate change as we have faced every other pollution challenge successfully.